that's one fine billy goat. Hey guys, this is my review for the latest episode of Supernatural. This is one involving a goat. <laughs> yeah, literally, a goat killer. It really reminded me right off the bat when I showed the, they saw the goat monster. It reminded me of the movie The Witch, or as I call it, The Vivitch. This was probably one of the most creatively shot episodes of this season. If anything, it hearkened a lot to the old 80s horror films like Freddy vs. Jason or definitely Nightmare on Elm Street. I was more fascinated with how this episode was shot and how it was edited than anything else. Like when the guy was getting killed in the freezer and it cut from him being dragged out, like it opened his, it zoomed in on his mouth and then it zoomed out of Dean blasting ketchup onto a burger. Fantastic editing, really cool, campy, very, very campy, but very cool filming styles. There, It looked like the DOP put more than five minutes of effort into shooting this show. Because let's be honest, Supernatural has never been really known for in for intriguing, very creative filming. The most creative the show ever freaking got was in the baby episode of last season where they filmed it all in the car. They actually had to really work around the idea there. They've even I've talked with background actors who have been on this show, and they even admit that this show is so easy to shoot. So the fact that they actually did stuff that was out of the norm was cool. But as for how the episode went, there was two stories going on. There was one with Mr. Kitch breaking into the Men of Letters base that the brothers seem to not have put any sort of defenses on considering they know that the British Men of Letters can get into it. And then there was Dean and Sam going after this Billy Goat thing. Mr. Ketch, he was cool to me at first, and this was actually kind of funny when he walked in. He's like, we have to find out everything. How does Sam make his hair look so good? How many flannel bloody jackets does Dean have? And there was a lot of good British jokes. However, this weird obsession he has with their mother is just weird. It's like, it's weird. Like this character who's like cold, badass, is all of a sudden forming stalker scenario for their mother. It's... I don't know, it's, it's a little weird to me, but obviously that's how they're going to turn him into an antagonist. The Billy Goat episode, it actually had a cool moment at the end. The one thing I will say is there's two other characters. There's the guy, there's the sheriff who owns the meat factory, who is related to the Billy Goat monster. And then there's his underling who runs the, <laughs> who runs the meat factory. And it was a really funny cross comparison because the guy who was playing the sheriff couldn't, he seemed to just have this... Oh, it was my family legacy. It was what we were meant to do. I can't show any sort of emotion. And the other guy was overacting to the extreme where he was basically this bad guy stereotype. I'm going to explain the whole plan and do this. Yeah, I'm the bad guy. I'm saving the town. He even made a joke about the family business, which actually Dean even went... So, I swear, it was funny watching someone underacting and then watching someone overacting. It was like they were compensating for each other. And then the episode ended with a cool moment of their legacy. What was funny is they even said, you know, no one's going to write about us. <clears throat> Excuse me, the scripture of the Winchester. Mm. But then they actually sort of harken back to the flash memories from Swan Song when the brothers scratched their initials into the table and they were remembering them doing that to the Impala when they were kids. And that was cool. That was a sweet moment, actually. So as for how the episode was overall, while I'm not still looking forward to the end of the season because I know it's going to be lackluster in terms of the whole Meta British Men of Letters final showdown, I liked this episode. It was a lot better than I thought it would be. It had a lot of elements that were creative and homely. And it was actually a non-lazy shot episode. This was probably one of the most intriguing episodes besides baby in a long time so in the end i'm gonna give this episode a six out of seven i enjoyed it i liked it not only from how the story played out but to how it was put together so definitely give credit to the director and the editor for this one anyways guys that's all for me hope you enjoyed this review see you guys next time